Elite Facts presents. Scientists have found 10 signs of exceptional intelligence. 10. You have a cat. Are you a cat owner? Well, congratulations, you may be intelligent. A 2014 study of 600 college students found that individuals who identified as dog people were more outgoing than those who identified as cat people, according to a test that measures personality and intelligence. But guess what? Those same cat people scored higher on the part of the test that measures cognitive ability. So kids, if you really want a cat but your parents won't let you have one, just show them that study. Nine. You're left-handed. This study has been around for quite a while. It's been proven that people who are left-handed are more often than not more intelligent than those who are right-handed. Left-handedness used to be associated with criminality, and researchers are still unclear as to whether and why there are slightly more lefties among criminal populations. Recent studies conducted associates left-handedness with divergent thinking, a form of creativity that allows you to come up with novel ideas from a prompt, at least among men. In her review of a 1995 paper, New Yorker reporter Maria Konnikova wrote, The more marked the left-handed preference in a group of males, the better they were at tests of divergent thought. Left-handers were more adept, for instance, at combining two common objects in novel ways to form a third. 8. You worry a lot. Now, here's one for you. It has been proven that people who suffer from anxiety or are just anxious individuals in general have been shown to be more intelligent than the average person. For example, researchers asked 126 undergraduates to fill out questionnaires in which they indicated how often they experienced worry. They also indicated how often they engaged in rumination or thinking continuously about the aspects of situations that upset them. Results showed that people who tended to worry and ruminate a lot scored higher on measures of verbal intelligence, while people who didn't do much worrying or ruminating scored higher on tests of nonverbal intelligence. 7. You're a real night owl. As ridiculous as it sounds, the evidence is there to prove that people who are essentially night owls have impeccable intelligence, more so than early birds. The ability to work and be creative at night, as is well known, was not given to us by nature. It's for this reason that scientists reached the conclusion that intelligent people go to bed later because they're striving to expand the limits of their abilities. If only we could survive on such little sleep. Six. You're a very curious person. In University of London business psychology professor Tomas Camaro Premuzic's post for Harvard Business Review, he discussed how the curiosity quotient and having an appetite for knowledge makes one more inquisitive. Regarding the importance of CQ, he wrote that, quote, it has not been as deeply studied as EQ and IQ, but there is some evidence to suggest it is just as important when it comes to managing complexity in two major ways. First, individuals with higher CQ are generally more tolerant of ambiguity. This nuanced, sophisticated, subtle thinking style defines the very essence of complexity. Second, CQ leads to higher levels of intellectual investment and knowledge acquisition over time, especially in formal domains of education such as science and art. Note this is, of course, different from IQ's measurement of raw intellectual horsepower. A Goldsmiths University of London study found that intellectual investment, or how people invest their time and effort in their intellect, plays a major part in cognitive growth. 5. You're a messy person. Yeah, we know it's difficult to believe, but just hear us out with this one. A study published in Psychological Science by the University of Minnesota Carlson School of Management's Kathleen Bowes has revealed that working in untidy conditions actually fuels a person's creativity. In this study, a total of 48 participants were asked to come up with unusual uses for a ping-pong ball. The 24 individuals working in neat rooms came up with substantially fewer creative responses than the individuals working in messy, unkempt rooms. So next time your parents tell you to buck up and clean your room up, tell them it makes you more creative and helps you think. Odds are it won't work, but it's still worth a shot. 4. You learn to read early. 
Now, this one is a bit of an obvious one, but still worth mentioning. Back in 2012, researchers looked at nearly 2,000 pairs of identical twins in the UK and found that the sibling who had learned to read earlier tended to score higher on tests of cognitive ability. The study authors suggest that reading from an early age increases both verbal and nonverbal reasoning ability, as opposed to the other way around. So parents out there, you might want to get your kids reading at an early age. Who knows, they might end up being the next Einstein. Three. You don't always have to try hard. Okay, now hold on a second. We're not saying that full-blown couch potatoes with a side of 12-day-old food on your shirt type of lazy is intelligent, so please don't take that the wrong way. This isn't to say that laziness is a sign of being smart, but it is fair to say that smart people simply don't always have to try as hard as those who tend to strive and fight to build up their skills at least in certain fields. In an opinions piece for the New York Times, psychologists David Z. Hambrick and Elizabeth J. Mines cited a Vanderbilt University study of highly intelligent young people. This particular study tracked up to 2,000 people who scored in the top 1% of the SAT by the age of 13. Hambrick and Mines would go on to write that, quote, the remarkable finding of their study is that, compared with the participants who were only in the 99.1 percentile for intellectual ability at age 12, those who were in the 99.9 .9 percentile, the profoundly gifted, were between three and five times more likely to go on to earn a doctorate, secure a patent, publish an article in a scientific journal, or publish a literary work. A high level of intellectual ability gives you an enormous real-world advantage. They concluded that while striving to be smarter is definitely commendable and is still advised that you do so if you're looking to learn new skills, there are certain innate abilities that can't always be learned. 2. Finger Ration Many of the finger length correlations hold true in men only, but some apply to women as well. For children of both sexes, digit ratio was linked to scores on the SAT college admission exam, a 2007 study published in the British Journal of Psychology found. A team of scientists made photocopies of children's palms and measured their digit ratios. Then the researchers compared these measurements with boys' and girls' performances on the SAT. Both boys and girls whose index fingers were shorter than their ring fingers scored higher on average in the math section than the verbal. And girls with larger digit ratios, that's ring fingers longer than index fingers, scored better on the verbal portion of the test than the math one, the study found. One, you're a tall person. Now, here's a strange attribute that points to someone's intelligence. So back in 2008, Princeton studied thousands of people and found that taller individuals scored much higher on IQ tests as kids. As for tall adults, studies have shown that taller adults earn more money than shorter people. The researchers wrote, quote, as early as the age of three, before schooling has had a chance to play a role, and throughout childhood, taller children perform significantly better on cognitive tests. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.